What's up, guys? Just another devotion for you this morning. Uh, one of the things that I've, I enjoy doing is, is reading the Psalms. They, they capture emotion so well, and they really put it into a perspective of all things under the Lord's control. And one of those is uh, Psalm 3. It's the third Psalm. And if you go to the Harris campus of Hickory Grove, we sing this Psalm uh, every now and then in a song. But this is the first few words. O oh Lord, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me. Many are saying of my soul, there is no salvation for him in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cried aloud to the Lord and he answered me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I woke again. Why? For the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of many thousands of peoples who have set themselves against me all around. One of the things that I love about this is uh, David is not scared to say, hey, I'm in a little bit of a panic. I'm a little stressed out. I'm a little worried. We all are, whether it's school or whether it's family dynamics or friendship dynamics. We all get a little worried. We all feel like there's no help for us. And this is why verses three and four are so significant. But you, O oh Lord, you, we can call out to him. He hears us. You are a shield about me. You comfort me. You wrap your arms around me and protect me. You are my glory and a lifter of my head. You know, I get the image of, of a little boy who's, who's tripped on the sidewalk and has scraped their hands and scraped their face or whatever. And their, their father comes over and just picks them up, the lifter of their head. Or, or I think of an athlete who, you know, maybe they missed a game-winning free throw. Or they drop the, the big touchdown pass. And they're just thinking the whole game just rests on their shoulders and they've disappointed their team. And the coach comes over and lifts up their head and says, hey, you, you'll get them next time. There's just great encouragement that we can find in the Lord. And verse 4, this is significant. I cried aloud to the Lord and he answered me from his holy hill. What grace that we have the opportunity to cry out to a Lord who sits on a holy hill who sits high and supreme on a throne. We don't call out to a teacher for uh, things of eternal matter. We don't call out to our parents to help us navigate the big stresses of life. We can call out to the Lord who sits high above teachers, high above parents, high above any authority in our life. He is very gracious to allow us to do that. Because think, think, what, what, what gives me, sinner that I am, the right and privilege to call out to a God like that, to call out to a God who loves me like that. Verse 4 is very significant as we consider prayer and as we consider the fact that not only can we cry out to him, but look, he answered me from his holy hill. He answers us. It may not be the answer we expect, but he hears us, he answers us. And so I, I hope that in this season of you know, extra time of, of adjusting to, you know, this life. I, mean, I hope it, it drives us to prayer. And I hope we are refreshed and awakened to, to new life in prayer. And so we're, with that in mind, we are praying for you students, praying for you teachers, and looking forward to the day we can be together again. Oh, look, here comes my daughter. Can you say hi? Hey. She busted up her nose the other day. Ooh. <laughs>